Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got another wide body for you, but this time it's a little bit different. It's gonna be this Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road special. Now this truck is already very badass in the sense that it has all the off-road goodies and stuff like that. But what we're gonna do is make it just a little bit more wider. Here is the wide body kits. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the bed sides, install this wide body kit. And then we're also going to install the new fenders with the extra piece that's going to match and mold it onto the factory bumper and install a hood scoop on this thing. So let's go ahead and get to it. Status update on the Tacoma. I uh, got the whole front clip off. Uh, all the parts are over here. And got the bed pretty much loosened up. We've been starting to drill out all these spot welds. There's so many freaking spot welds. I think uh, everything is looking like it's working like clockwork right now. So hopefully. Everything fits good. We're gonna have to make a little bit of custom work on the front bumper for the extension from the fender, from the over fender. See right here, here's the front fender. So there's an extension that goes onto the bumper there. We're gonna have to mold, paint that. Got a new uh, TRD Sport hood, which I need to get for my truck. I'm lagging over here. This guy's just coming over here and, you know, building my dream truck, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's about the swap? Yeah. We're doing a swap to make this thing unreliable. BM, BMW swap. No, I'm just kidding. That's for another car. Well, let's keep going with this truck. Taco is coming along really nice. Got pretty much everything fit up on the truck. Got the front fenders on as well with the new sport hood that has been jammed. Uh, we have this front bumper extension piece that needs to be molded onto the OEM front bumper. But we had some issues with the passenger side because it didn't actually line up to the body line of the bumper. So we're actually having to make a little bit of an extension. Uh, so it will actually line up on this piece right here on this body line of the bumper. And that way both sides look exactly the same. Got the hood jam, color was on point. So that's gonna be good. So what we're gonna end up having to do is, you know, paint the hood and the fenders all at the same time and probably blend to this door. And luckily because we are, you know, separated from the cab and the bed, I, we are not going to be blending the cab side or anything like that. I think we should be able to get a good match as it sits. So right here, this little section that we have masked off on the cardboard, this is how much this kit is off. We're missing this little chunk of it. So we're gonna go ahead and make a little piece out of fiberglass and add it. That way we can kind of make sure everything lines up perfectly.
All right, back onto this build. Molded pretty much both sides right now. Doing a little bit of bondo, bondo work on them and getting everything to sit where it needs to. Went ahead and took off the bed sides again because we're pretty much ready to primer them. We're just going over all the edges. After we primer them, we're gonna go ahead and shoot a Raptor liner over the whole inside as well. All right, so the comb was coming right along. We're already taking everything off today. And we're gonna go ahead and primer everything, all, every, all the body works pieces, the hood, the quarter panel, the bumpers. Okay. So this, this is the front bumper where we had to make those extensions. And the guys over here are straight killing it, man. This stuff's gonna look all like OEM once it's all 100% done. Bed sides are getting primered today. Fenders are getting primered today. Hood is getting primered today. Everything's gonna get primered today. Right, Renee? Right? No? No? Victor, can yeah. we get some positivity? Is everything getting primered today? Yep. 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 Yeah. Okay, we went ahead and texture coated all the fiberglass fenders and bedside. And uh, we used uh, a product that we like to call wrap, well that is called Raptor Liner. Uh, and I always like using this stuff because it works out really well. Um, so we let this sit over the weekend. We've already done all the body work. So now it's time to start blocking these pieces out and getting them ready for paint. So what we're gonna do is put a little bit of guide coat on these pieces and start blocking them out and get ready for paint. And hopefully we can get them ready today so that way tomorrow we can get them into paint. So let's get to it. Let's take a close look of how this stuff lines up. Now this is only in primer. Keep in mind we are gonna go ahead and block this thing out and get these lines extra, extra crispy. But this thing looks real nice right off the bat. And after we block it, it's gonna look even better. So the one over here making these lines extra, extra crispy, huh? Real crispy? Yep. And we say real crispy. Real crispy, real crispy. <laughs> Can we say real crispy? Crispy. Real, real crispy. Real crispy. Sir, what are you what are you doing over here, sir? I don't know. I don't know. Can I try? Can I try? Can you read it?
everything came out very beautifully super happy with the finish uh, Richard again outdid yourself Victor Renee uh, and all the boys that helped on this thing this thing came out so nice and we're gonna go ahead and let this stuff sit we're gonna go ahead and check on the back sec the quarter panels and um, the hood scoop over there see how everything turned out all right and here are the quarter panels that came out exquisitely front bumper this was the piece that we molded and if I have to say you would never be able to tell that this was not on here same thing with the whole other side it literally looks like it just came like that and that's such a nice job it took longer uh, than what we expected but it came out so great so when you get these type of results it makes it all worth it so we're gonna go ahead and let this stuff dry up for the weekend and on Monday we will go ahead and start assembling this thing John with his freaking NASA camera. <laughs> yeah, bro. This thing looks sick. Huh? Barb? Barb? <laughs> This one's all ready to go. It came out super clean, super happy with how it came out. Now we're ready to turn this thing in and get started on some other projects. Got a Z32 here that we're gonna be doing a full wide body on. Got another Supra. A lot of work to be done, guys. So thank you guys for watching today's video. We're gonna wrap it up right here. Um, if you're not following us, go ahead and um, go ahead and drop the links for our Instagram and go ahead and subscribe if you have a chance. Thank you guys so much for watching here at SOS Customs. We got you covered.